Hello there, how you doing? We're here doing the lessons of A Course in Miracles and we are in a review period once again. Lesson 203 is where we are. Uh, so for this review period, there is an overall theme that we say before and after our actual lesson for review. And yeah, throughout the day, morning and night, you wanna think of these things and throughout the day, allow that theme to kinda pass through your consciousness and give you that reassurance of what you truly are. Okay, so here we go. Lesson 203, I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. I call upon God's name and on my own. The name of God is my deliverance from every thought of evil and of sin, because it is my own as well as his. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. Okay, so we're gonna jump over to see what A Year of Forgiveness has to say about this one. Um, I'm curious when you read that, what do you think about that? I call upon God's name and on my own. Uh, I definitely feel like when something's going on and I wanna try to let go of a, of a feeling that I don't wanna have any longer, I'll pray to God and if someone asks for like a prayer request, I'll pray to God. But when it says, I call upon God's name and on my own, I don't exactly know what that means to be honest with you. <laughs> so we'll jump into a year of forgiveness, but if you have any thoughts, I know a lot of you have been studying the course for a long time and you have some experience with these lessons at a deeper level. So. Um, and I never did unpack all my books when I moved into this place with my boyfriend. So my, um, my Ken Wapnick teaching series is not at my fingertips. So um, yeah, um, I could always go back and look at the lesson. It's lesson 183. However, I'll just toss it out there and see what you guys come back with. And maybe it's just like an intuitive thought about what does it mean? I call on God's name and upon my own. All right, let's see what a year of forgiveness has to say about this lesson. Lesson 203. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one you know as Jesus. This name of God issue has been giving some of you a little upset trying to figure out what exactly that name is. You can use any name that feels comfortable to you. You can use God, Goddess, All That Is, Source, Universal Mind, and so on. Whatever suits your feeling as the most accurate representation of that name of God, use that. If it is God, then use God. Words are symbols of symbols. They are not as important as you may have made them out to be. It is the feeling behind everything. If you say I love you to someone and you don't mean it, then it is the feeling that is projected out into the world and that will be reflected back to you. It is not the words, the sounds you make, even though you can do powerful transformative work using your words. Understand that the words you use must be in alignment with the intention and feeling within your heart and soul. I love that. Yes, words are powerful. Words are magnificent tools for connecting with the divine. You, however, must focus on the feeling that word brings for you. Some of you who have been traumatized by the church or by religious parents do not like the word God. The feeling that it elicits in you is not one of love, peace, expansiveness, and forgiveness. So that is your forgiveness work. Forgive that word and all the things incorrectly done in that word's name. That has often happened to me. People have done terrible things in my name. That is one of the reasons I wanted to come through in your society at this time to reclaim my name for the truth of what it stands for, which is an all-encompassing love for you, my brothers and sisters. Do not get hung up on these symbols of symbols. Go to the heart and come up with a word for God that you love and resonate with and that feels completely comfortable for you. Do not judge others for the words they use. Use the word that is your truth and your home. I am that one you know is Jesus, and we will speak to you again tomorrow. Well, I have two things to say on that. Um, sometimes when I'm talking about God and Jesus, I find that I kind of like 
preempt any kind of judgment that I might get from people assuming that I'm like a regular Christian. I'll, I'll say something like, I'm talking about A Course in Miracles Jesus, not Bible Jesus. Or I'm talking about God from the perspective of Course in Miracles, not the Bible. So sometimes I find that I'm, you know, projecting out that, that people are judging me and I probably don't need to say the disclaimer, but uh, I have a little work to do around that. And the other thing is, um, if for some reason using God is uncomfortable for you, you could go to words like the creator or great spirit or even like mother nature. Um, you know, I think a lot of people who are more into like earth-based spirituality may choose to use those words instead of the more traditionally um, religious-based terminology. But again, you know, I love the fact that it's being reinforced to us that words are just symbols of symbols. Words are just comprised of letters, letters are symbols. So it really doesn't matter. It's how you feel whenever you're calling out to that being or energy. And um, yeah, like it's, it's more about the feeling and doesn't matter what the word is. So that's a pretty good lesson. I hope you guys have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow.